Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. All of you. I'm really happy that you're all here. So today is a very special Mask Monday. I am doing a tag collab with Kristen from Beauty Beatdown and Ash from Fatally Flawed Ash and we are answering holiday questions. These are Thanksgiving and Christmas questions. Each of us put in seven questions, and I'm going to uh, let you know when one section ends and another section begins. And at the end, I want you to tell me which questions are mine. You don't win anything. It's just for funsies. It's just for funsies. Um, I am doing the I Do Care Disco Kitten uh, peel-off mask. It is almost dry. This is the third time I've tried to uh, film this, but my phone keeps doing stupid stuff. So we're going to hope. I just cleared my trash can from my phone. So we're going to hope that it's okay now. So um, I'm going to put all of these questions in the description box as well as Kristen and Ash's uh, YouTube channels in the description box. Um, if you haven't visited their channels, please go do so. See what questions or see what answers they have for the questions. Um, I just thought this was fun and um, I believe Ash is the one that put the two of us or the three of us together. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Number one, do you have any holiday traditions? Uh, we used to. We used to have uh, quite a few holiday traditions. Um, meaning that they happened every year. Uh, but one that we do have is uh, every year, Bailey and I, and sometimes Anthony, but he's usually working, will go to a little town. It's about 10 minutes west of here. And they have a, a park that they uh, decorate. They light, they put lights up in the trees and on the walkways, and it's just really pretty. And so Bailey and I will do that every year. And we will take pictures and take selfies and things like that. And it's just a kind of a neat place. We usually go later in the evening because there's not as many people there. I'm talking about like nine o'clock. Um, Christmas Eve, it's usually lit up all night and the, um, the park is open. So there we have actually gone as late as like midnight before. But last year they were, last year they shut the lights off earlier. I believe it was last year. Anyway, so that's the tradition that we have. Um, because I lost my dad last year, um, we didn't do a whole lot of holiday things as a family, uh, meaning my dad's side of the family. Uh, last year we lost my dad in June, uh, July, and then we lost my uncle in December. So we weren't feeling the Christmas spirit too much. So we didn't really do a whole lot last year. Uh, number two, do you like eggnog? No. No, I do not like eggnog. I think it's gross. Number three, what is your favorite holiday movie? My favorite holiday movie is It's a Wonderful Life. And I like the black and white version, not the colorized version. Um, yeah, that's always, that's as far as I can remember, that's been my favorite holiday movie. That is the one movie that I will not miss. What is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Dressing. Yep, stuffing, dressing, whatever you call it, that's my favorite. Um, I like gravy on it, and it is really good. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is Oh Holy Night, and I don't care who sings it, it's my favorite. Um, I think one of my favorite versions of Oh Holy Night is uh, Josh Groban. If you know who he is, uh, it's absolutely beautiful and it punches me in the gut. And that's when you know it's good, is when it punches you in the gut. What is your favorite holiday scent? My favorite holiday scent is anything with cinnamon in it. Um, there is a Scentsy scent, and that is called uh, Welcome Home. And it has some cinnamon, and I don't know what else it has in it, but it smells amazing. It smells exactly like the Yankee Candle um, Home Sweet Home, which has been my favorite for years. But when I smell cinnamon, I think Christmas. Number seven, pumpkin spice, yay or nay? Yay. Not Starbucks pumpkin spice. 
Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this or not, but I did. I, I don't like Starbucks coffee. I think it's disgusting. I think it tastes burnt. Don't like it. So I do not like Starbucks pumpkin spice, but as a whole, pumpkin spice, yay, yes. Okay, that was the end of the first section. The next section. What are your favorite holiday treats? Um, pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll. Um, hmm. Yeah, pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll. Uh, my aunt's apple pie. She makes it every Christmas, every Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. It has like that crumb topping on top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are you most thankful for this year? I am the most thankful that um, my daughter, well, my family, my family has remained healthy. Uh, none of us have contracted the you know what um, that we're healthy. That's the, I mean what what else could you ask for? That's one thing that I'm most thankful for this year. I am most thankful that my family has remained healthy throughout the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. What is the weirdest gift you've ever received? This was a really hard question. Um, I tried not to answer them in my head as I was writing them out. Um, but this one was really hard because I like all gifts. Like I do. I like all gifts, even if they're kind of strange. Like I feel like people put time and effort into choosing this gift for you. So um, I appreciate that, even as even when I was younger. Um, but there is one gift that comes to mind. And I'm not going to say who gave it to me, because I don't think she watches my videos. But in, in case I don't, I don't want, I don't want to put her name out there. Um, but I got a jacket, like a, a windbreaker type jacket that had a map of the world on it. And it was like paper, like it was a really weird fat. It was like, it was it. I don't even know if it was fabric. It was really strange. Um, I did end up taking it back. I think she bought it at Elder Beerman. Um, but it was really weird. Like why? What? I don't feel like there was any thought put into that. I think it was just, she picked up something cause she had to. That's what I feel like. Anyway. Um, Number four, do you decorate your house at the holidays? Um, I do put up a tree. I do put up a wreath outside and I have a um, one of those long wooden, like tall, skinny wooden um, signs um, that I prop up on the front of the house. We don't put lights up or anything like that, but I do that. Also inside, I put a tree up and I have a ton of Avon old, like vintage Avon uh, Christmas decorations that were my grandmother's. And I do put those, I have always put those up. Now that Bailey's not here, I'm still going to put a tree up, but I don't know if I'm going to put those up. I don't know yet. I'm not one that decorates, like that makes a tablescape or puts things in every room and Christmas towels and all that. Cause you know what? We don't get company. Like no, we don't get company. Nobody comes to see us. So I don't do that. I just don't, it's just not my thing. Now, if we entertained possibly, but probably not, probably not. Um, I will be decorating this back here. I already have an idea of what I want, what I want to do. So I will be decorating, but not until after December 1st, after December 1st. Um, and I don't put my Christmas tree up until December 1st or after December 1st. Number five, what are you looking forward to for the next year? Um, I don't know. Um, vacation. Anthony and I haven't had vacation since 2017. Uh, 
the three of us went to Louisiana to visit a friend. Uh, I, I really want to go on vacation. I really want to go on vacation this year or next year. Um, that's really all I can think of. I don't, there's not anything that I'm really looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd really like to take a vacation with him. Uh, just he and I. We've never been on vacation. We've been together 14 years. We've never been on vacation except for the year we went to Louisiana. Yeah, we never have because we've always worked. Um, number six, if you could design an ugly holiday sweater, what would it look like? <sighs> I've sold a lot of, hol of ugly holiday sweaters. When I go to the thrift store and I see ugly holiday sweaters, I always put them up on eBay and they sell, they all sell because people are looking for them for their ugly sweater parties, but it's probably going to be some kind of plaid. Um, with animals on it, with maybe jingle bells on the animals. That sounds atrocious to me. I'm not, I'm, I'm not real creative that way. Uh, number seven, what is your earliest ho holiday memory? My earliest holiday memory. Um, I, I think that my early, earliest holiday memory is when my mom and dad were still married. So it was, they divorced when I was four. So it had to have been before that because we were at my dad's house. And my mom used to make, some people call it stained glass candy. Some people call it hard tack candy. That's what my mom called it, it was hard tack candy. Hard tack. Um, it's basically just a bunch of like sugar that makes a syrup. And then you put food coloring and um, flavoring in it and then you like let it set. I think you have to cook it. I think it stinks when you cook it too, but then it's like that. It's like stained glass when it's done. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if people that even do that anymore, but I remember my mom and my aunt and my grandma making that in my dad's kitchen. So it had, I had to have been three or four. I had to have been three or less. So I remember that. Um, okay, so that was the end of that bunch of questions. And then we have one more uh, section of questions. And number one, what is the favorite gift you've ever received? Um, if I, I may cut away because it's, it's it, I might get a little emotional. Um, there, I have two. I have two favorite gifts and I'm going to get them. I brought them in here so you could see them. So, um, my favorite, my first favorite gift that I've ever had is, um, a Bible. Anthony bought this Bible for me, um, several years ago. And he, I'm not going to show you what he wrote, but he wrote something in the inside and it's just a beautiful leather bound Bible and it's beautiful and I have never had a Bible um, my own Bible so for him to do that that was very special so last year last year Bailey bought me something for Christmas and it is this Build-A-Bear and he is wearing Cleveland Browns. That Cleveland Browns were my dad's favorite. And then she also. I'm unavailable right now. Leave your name and Eric Hood and phone number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That is his voicemail. That is the voicemail that was on his phone. So my daughter. She's, she has the most beautiful heart. My daughter went to build a bear and had this made for me for Christmas. So there were a lot of tears, a lot of tears. Um, actually she also, last year she also made me, this is a diamond painting. So she made that for me and that was very sweet. Came back, had a, 
had to, you know. <laughs> so next, next question. What kind of holiday shopper are you? Black Friday, Christmas Eve, or all year round? I like to shop all year round. Um, I would say I'm between Black Friday and all year round. Um, up until a couple years ago, I was done by Christmas. I'm sorry. I was done up until a couple years ago. I was done by Thanksgiving. So, um, that, that's always my goal every year, but I don't know if that's going to happen this year because I don't know what to get anybody this year. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say all year round because I do pick up things all year round. Um, least favorite side dish, sweet potatoes. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I do not like sweet potatoes. I do not like them at all. So yams, sweet potatoes, whatever, candied yams. Don't like them. Gross. Gross. Um, what Christmas song makes you cringe? I don't think I'm alone here. When I'm say, when I say Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You, I can hear the first two notes and I will switch, I will change the channel. If I'm in a store, which that's always when I hear it is when I'm in a store. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't deal with that song. That is like, I can't. I can't deal with that song. Um, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? Snickerdoodles. I love snickerdoodles. Oh my gosh. I consider that a Christmas cookie. I mean, there's cookies that you have all year round. And then there's cookies that... You only have her on Christmas time, and that's what, like, the, a snickerdoodle. My mom and I, up until last year, my mom and I made 100, 125 dozen cookies, and we give them away. Um, and we always make, we make snickerdoodles, we make chocolate chip cookies, we make these sandwich cookies, oh, that are so good. Um, they have, like, icing in the middle. We make um, the cutout cookies. Um, no bakes, no bake cookies, yep. And then what, number six, what is your least favorite Christmas movie? My least favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story. Again, don't come at me. To me, in my opinion, that is the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my life. I hate it, I hate that movie. It makes me like angry to even see that it's on. Hate that movie. Hate is a very strong word. Hate that movie. And then number seven, Christmas shopping. In store or, on, or online? I'm an online shopper. Um, before there was online, I was a catalog shopper because I do not like to go. Once Thanksgiving hits, I don't want to go in the store. I don't want to go in the store. I don't want to be around those that many people. I just don't. I do not want to be around that many people. So those were our 21 questions for our Christmas collab. Again, I'm going to put Ash and Kristen in the description box. Please go check out their questions and see what answers they have for those questions. Also, I am going to put all of the questions in the description box just in case you want to do these questions. They're fun. I like them. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in and sitting with me while I answer our questions on our collab. So everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.